How do you determine whether markets have already priced in the hope of the future and perhaps the pain of the now starts to eat into that, meaning it might be mm -hmm. overheating? Yeah, you know, I don't I don't think it's priced in yet. I mean, I, you know, I've been on the show for a number of months talking about, you know, people talk about P.E. ratios and say, gosh, markets are high, the equity market's too high. But I think what you know, if you think about this number and think about what does it mean, more stimulus coming. I think about what what just happened last year. If you include the deficit, you had over three trillion of stimulus that came in. So almost 15 percent of GDP. And now we're going to get what could be another couple of trillion that's coming in. So think about the growth paradigm. You could have over a 6% GDP. Um, I think you could get a 7% GDP next year. So now think about valuations, the equity market, PE multiples are high, but if you take earnings acceleration and you take earnings yield, so what is the Fed gonna do now? Fed's gotta stay on hold, rates are gonna stay down. The earnings yield of the equity market is literally, if you take 2021 anticipated earnings, is 5%-ish, free cash flow yield is 5%-ish, <laughs> with treasuries at zero. You know, I think I think you've got markets have priced it in somewhat, but there's more to go.